What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Treads Barbecue. My name is Bradley Robinson and today I'm going to show you how I made these beautiful, delicious, smoky, deep fried, spicy, boneless, amazing, truly boneless wings. Some on the barbecue and some in the deep fryer. Coming up. These are some chicken wings. Ooh, pat them dry. And what I got here is some full wings, meaning they haven't been broken down yet into drums, flats, and the wing tip is still on there. And when picking these out, I was really looking for the biggest wings I could find, which is the opposite of what I'm usually looking for when I'm picking up wings, just because when I'm throwing wings in a deep fryer, the smaller wings cook up a lot better. There's a better skin to meat ratio. They cook a lot quicker. And wings like this tend to be a little bit chewy. But today we're making some truly boneless wings. None of that throwing a chicken nugget in some buffalo sauce and calling it a boneless wing nonsense. Meaning using a knife we're going to go through, we're going to remove this bone and both bones in here, leaving the wing tip intact just to make sure everything stays whole. And I've been wanting to do this recipe for a very long time. About this time last year, I took a trip to New York City. There's a video on my channel all about it, where my friends and I just went around eating good food, had a couple of drinks, and one of the places we ate at had a boneless stuffed wing. <laughs> I think we might have to try and recreate this. Maybe. Oh yeah. And ever since I took a bite of a truly boneless wing, I have been dying to recreate it. And today is the day. So let's get these bones out of here. And to do that can be a little bit tedious and a little bit tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it's really not that hard. So what I'm gonna do is take my knife and I'm basically gonna start Frenching from the top of this bone here. What I like to do is put a little back pressure on the meat and just go through and find all the little tendons and things that are holding the meat to the bone and just cut all the way around until that meat slides down freely. Then using my fingers, just kind of push the meat downward, leaving us with a nice clean bone. And the name of the game here, once you get it all freed, sometimes a little scrape helps too, is turn the wing inside out, going down the wing. And I've seen a few different recipes for this. And most of the time what I see is people just using the flats and saving the drums for something else. But I think it's gonna be a really cool presentation to have an entire wing. So now we got that bone nice and clean. We're gonna keep kind of pushing that down until it can kind of snap out of there. Just little cuts, trying not to puncture the skin. In. Boom, nice clean bone, gotta love that. Now we're at the second wing, there's a little bit of a knuckle on there, which you can kind of just cut out like that, exposing the two bones. But we wanna make sure we get these out of there. And now same deal, just kind of take your time, being careful to just pull this meat down, slice it away from the tops of the bones, and then all that meat should slide right on down. It's also helpful to separate the bones, kind of go in there, cut the inside as well. And then again, pushing the meat down, Boop. exposing these two bones. Again, keeping that wing inside out until we get down to the bottom where we can just kind of snap these off. Beautiful, now we've got an inside out wing, so we're gonna go through and find the wing tip that we left on there. There it is, and just turn it back right side out. And there we go, really not much to it. A fully boneless chicken wing. Kinda weird looking, but you know, not bad. Look at that, clean bones, leaving behind nothing but pure chicken meat, and of course, all that skin. So now it's time to repeat. And this is definitely one of those things that the first time you do it is gonna be a little challenging, but once you get a few in, 10 or so deep, you get pretty quick at it. I did this the other day as a practice run, and I think I did 16 of these in about 30 minutes, which, you know, it's a labor of love, but you can do this way ahead of time. I'm definitely bringing a bunch of these to the big game next week, and uh, I'm just gonna make a bunch of them ahead of time, probably back seal them up. Push the meat down, turn it inside out. Gross. Snap out the bone, ignore the blue jays. Scrapey, scrapey. Gotta say though, it is kind of satisfying to do this. Pushing the meat off the bone all the way down. Snap out one and snap out the other. I broke that bone. That's one thing I will say. This is really annoying if one of your wings comes with a broken bone. Still possible though. Beautiful. I'm gonna knock out the rest of these. And just like that, we've got a big pile of some beautifully boneless chicken wings. This took about an hour. I doubled up on wings, by the way, because again, I'm serving these on Sunday. And we've also got a big pile of bones, so you know I'm roasting these off and making some chicken stock. Bit tedious work, but hopefully it's worth it. Now these wings are absolutely fantastic if you just throw them on the grill or throw them in the deep fryer as is. They plump up really nicely, and I'll definitely be doing that with some of these, but because we took those bones out, they're completely hollow. So it only seems right to stuff them with some chicken sausage. So that's what we're gonna make right now. Now. These are some chicken thighs. Pat them dry. Just your standard boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I'm gonna just go ahead and cut these into some little strips so we can grind them a little bit easier. Could go breast meat if you want, but stuffed inside of a chicken wing, I think thighs are definitely the way to go here. A Little bit juicier, a little more flavor. And I know a wing is technically white meat, but it eats and cooks like dark meat, so this just seems like the right thing to do. Beautiful, I'm gonna pop these in the freezer for just a little bit while I get the spices ready. Thank you. 
Spices for this super simple chicken sausage include some kosher salt, some granulated garlic, some white pepper, some cayenne, good amount of cayenne, and some milk powder for a binder. And I was kind of on the fence about whether or not to add a binder or not. You know, it's really not necessary even when making sausages. It just helps retain some moisture and make sure everything is nice and plump. But because we're not really casing this up, it shouldn't make a difference. But I do want the chicken to stay nice and juicy inside of these wings. And I also want to make sure it keeps its shape in there and doesn't come oozing out the side. And also chicken sausages, especially made with thighs, tend to have a pretty loose texture to them. So I think it's going to help. But if you don't have it, I'm sure it'd be fine if you skipped it. And now that these thighs are nice and cold through the grinder, we go. I'm going through the small die today just to get a nice fine texture on this chicken. We're going to send it through once. Beautiful. And now all we got to do is add in our spices and start getting this all mixed up. Now I'm going to add our liquid, which is just some water in this case. Help with that protein extraction, make it nice and sticky and just mix it till everything is evenly incorporated and it's nice and tacky. All right, now it's time to stuff these wings, and I've never actually done this before. I've deboned wings before, but I've never tried stuffing them, and I figured the stuffer would make quick work of this. But if you don't have a stuffer, then obviously you could just kind of shove it in there or, you know, use a plastic bag or something. But ooh, looking nice and plump. Wow, you can really fill these up. Don't want to make them too big. Wow, I did not think you'd get that much in one of these. This chicken wing is going to be like a meal. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is truly ridiculous. Maybe I'll do a little bit less in this one. That is surprising. I'll tell you what though, the whole time I've been thinking that this really wouldn't work for a restaurant because of the amount of labor going into deboning these things. But something like this, one chicken wing would feed one person at least. Very nice. This is really awkward. And if you do do this, I'd recommend not doing it around the more squeamish members of your family because you saw the deboning process. It's pretty weird looking, kind of gruesome. And this isn't much better. Oh no, we had a blowout. I did pop a few of these during the butchering process. That's, that was probably one of those. I'll keep an eye out. That's a nice non-popped one. This is so bizarre. Does make you think though, what else you could stuff into a chicken wing? You know, some boudin. I saw a few videos online of like fried rice or noodles or something like that. And I thought about making a blue cheese infused sausage, but a lot of people don't like blue cheese and I don't have any on hand right now, but that would be really good. I was also joking around the other day about making some chicken wing mozzarella sticks. Just fill one of these up with a cheese stick. <laughs> the ultimate game day food. Sounds like a viral TikTok. And just like that, we've got a whole pile of these super plump looking sausage stuffed wings. And uh, yeah, they are most certainly looking nice and plump. And we got a bunch of these that we're also gonna fry up. But I think it's time to fire up the pit. All right, while that chud box comes up to temp, it's time to get some rub on these girthquakes here. Got four of these bad Larrys, and I'm gonna go on with some uh, snake bite, chud's barbecue, spicy rub. Just a nice, healthy coating. This rub is a spicy rub, but it's really not that bad. Got some jalapeno, some cayenne. It's also got a little vinegar powder in there, so it kind of tastes like a buffalo sauce. Oh yeah. But of course, you can do whatever rub you like, or you could just leave them naked and toss them in sauce at the end. Whatever you feel like doing. Hit the sides, because we don't want to forget the sides, folks. Come on. That'd be a rookie move, especially on these gigantic chicken wings. Beautiful. Got this pit rocking about 300, 350 right now. I'm just gonna place these on. Nice, pretty hot and fast, quick direct cook. Ooh. I'm not really sure how long these are gonna take. They're pretty thick, so I'll keep you posted. All right, it's been about 20 minutes or so. Not really paying attention to the clock, to be honest with you. And these guys are looking good, so I'm gonna give them a flip. But before I do that, I'm gonna give these a quick spray with some uh, beef fat, just to help crisp them up a little bit, help that skin get some color. And we're gonna flip these over and see how they're looking. Ooh, looking really nice. That is one thing I was pretty concerned about, is the skin splitting, which is probably pretty likely because we stretched it really thin, but should be just fine. We'll see how it goes. So now we're gonna let that other side get nice and crisp. And once they're looking real good, then we'll start worrying about that internal temp. All right, y'all, these things are looking golden on both sides. And I gotta say, I'm really happy with how these are looking. Just beautiful color on there. That nice crispy skin direct heat that we all know and love. Oh, look at that. So juicy. I just tempt them and they're right around 200 degrees. So no need to worry about that sausage taking too long to cook. I was just going on color, but that is about where I'd take a wing anyway. But before we finish them off, I'm gonna hit them with a little bit of hot sauce. Some good old fashioned red hot in a squirt bottle. Just get that buffalo wing vibe, help with the color a little bit. 
bit and uh, yeah, we're gonna let this cook on, flip it over to the other side and pull these off and they'll be good to go. I gotta say guys, this is looking so good. All that sauce is cooked on, the color is great. And once they're fully cooked, they're not nearly as ridiculous looking as when they were raw, they shrunk up a bit. And these are definitely done. So I'm gonna let these cool down for a little bit, but before I go, you know I gotta throw some of these in the deep fryer. So these are the ones that aren't stuffed with sausage and this is a really approachable way to go about this recipe. Just completely debone. I threw them in some Wonder Flour, which is my favorite wing flour for frying. I'm just gonna throw them in for a truly boneless deep fried wing that you can do at home if you don't have a meat grinder. And here they are in all their glory, folks. Right off the chud box, looking absolutely beautiful. Crispy skin, boneless wings. We also got these deep fried bad boys that I tossed in some buffalo sauce, looking absolutely amazing. Here's a naked one, just so you know what it looks like. And uh, yeah, I wanna take a big old bite out of that. So let's dive in. This is a pile and I'm excited. If you know anything about me, I'm pretty sure that chicken wings, buffalo chicken wings are my favorite food of all time. And these are just looking so good. But first I wanna cut into one of these and see how it looks. Sausage stuffed chicken wing. Who knew? We'll go right in the middle. So crazy to cut a wing like that. And there we have it. Fully cooked sausage, looking pretty nice, nice and plump. Even got a faint little smoke ring on there. Serve it like that at a party? <laughs> yes, please. Go for one of these fried guys too with no stuffing in there. Just all chicken wing meat. It's surprising how much meat is actually in a chicken wing when you take the bones out, but that's a true past app right there. But if you're gonna serve up a big behemoth like this at a party, you're not cutting it with a knife and fork. You're gonna dip it in a little bleed cheese and then just, ow. Mm. That is so juicy. Mm. That is so meaty. The flavor on that is amazing. It's got that grilled chud box flavor to it. Got a good amount of heat from the sausage, the hot sauce and the rub, but nothing's overpowering. It definitely eats more like a sausage in your mouth flavor wise than a wing, but good Lord, a sausage wrapped in crispy skin is something I'm never gonna be mad about. Mm. That is so good. So juicy, crispy skin. I mean, what more do you need? Mm. That's a lot of meat. Like one of these would probably fill you up. Just look at that, come on. Can't stop, won't stop. That's so cool. It goes against every instinct to just bite into a wing like that, but damn. Let's see how these fried guys came out, shall we? Go for this guy. Just a classic deep fried wing. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is just phenomenal. It's very interesting how it's two completely different experiences, right? This one eats like a really good wing. The other one just eats like a different kind of sausage. So choose your own adventure on this one, folks. But wow, that is good. <laughs> it's so cool. No bones. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to keep going. This is so good. Even gnaw on this little guy if you want. Oh. Mm. It's funny, I find myself in a very perplexing situation here because the experience is so different. I'm finding myself asking, what do I like more, sausage or chicken wings? And the answer is definitely chicken wings. But then again, we're also talking about deep fried food versus smoked food, but I'm telling you, these bad boys are so good, definitely worth making. These, phenomenal. And it's just so golden brown, that smoky flavor on there. It's so good, you know, you just gotta make them both. That's why I made so many, to have some experiments. And you may be thinking to yourself, why don't you just throw one of these sausage stuffed ones into the deep fryer and uh, I did and you may think that looks amazing but almost immediately whoop, sausage blew out the skin and just got completely burnt so a shame but either way I'm definitely making these again they're so good so juicy and you could serve it up however you want you could slice this into coins like a sausage and present it in a really cool way where these guys are just perfect for a party boop boop mm-hmm that has got to be the meatiest chicken wing I've ever seen on the internet. Boop, boop. Mm. Would you like to try some boneless chicken wings? <laughs> it's just, it looks wrong. It looks weird. <laughs> I'm excited though. <laughs> All right. Wow. It's <laughs> really good. That's a big bite. Mm-hmm. Wow. It doesn't feel like a wing. It's kind of like just eating a different form of sausage, but it bears no resemblance to a wing. Yeah, there's no pop from the casing. Right. And that's all, there's just meat. Yeah. <laughs> meat mm. encased in meat. This is a barbecue channel after all. All right, I want this, this wing. The deep fried boy. <laughs> all right. Ooh, nice crunch. Mm, that crunch is <laughs> so good. You can't beat a deep fried wing. That, oh. that one eats like a wing. Yep. I hate so many of these. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> I ate way too many. Yeah. I, I feel really bad right now. I mean, this is for people who don't want to get their hands dirty. Right. That's perfect if you're like doing other things, you mm -hmm. can just pick one up. You don't have to dirty up another hand. I kind of worry though. Like the fact that you have to like wor work around the bones slows me down a little bit when yeah. I'm eating wings. I feel like if I had a pile of these, I would just rip through them. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. 
I gotta say, that sausage stuffed chicken wing is definitely a welcome addition to the barbecue arsenal, you know? But also, don't sleep on those deep fried ones. That is probably my new favorite way to eat fried chicken. But, before I head out, I think it's time for the official taste test. Cut a nice little coin for ya. Beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Alright y'all, and that is it. That is how to make some absolutely fantastic, truly boneless chicken wings. I highly recommend giving this one a try, whether you stuff them full of sausage, or just toss them in the deep fryer, throw them on the smoker, the grill. This is definitely a recipe that I highly recommend. And just taking a big chomping bite out of a full chicken wing is an experience that I think everyone should have at least once. But all that being said, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that subscribe button. Let YouTube know by dropping a like on this video. If you give this recipe a try for yourself, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Chud's Barbecue. I love this what y'all are cooking. Big shout out to all the Patreon members. Thank you for supporting Team Chud and allowing me to keep making all these videos. And until the next time I see you, please go cook something outside. Peace!